right, all right, all right, all right. You see the yellow dragon in here. Uh, started up for about the first time in, I don't know, a month, month and a half. It's winter time. Most depressing time of the year here in Pennsylvania. Uh, if you're a car guy, boat guy, all the things I am kind of guy. Uh, so it's New Year's Eve. Got the car started up, uh, pulled it off the battery tender. Uh, I'm going to show you why for a reason. So I let it warm up for a couple minutes. Go ahead and shut it off. I just want to kind of get some oil through it. And we'll show you guys why we're here for the video. So you're going to see some pieces up here. These look like pieces for a battery tender. So what I have been doing is running my battery tender off of this wall socket in through the cabin, through the back, and into the battery because I don't want to keep the hatch open and keep the wire coming out of the hatch. I've been leaving the windows open. Um, nothing really wrong with that, but I don't like doing that throughout the whole winter. Um, so I got on YouTube today, just started getting down that rabbit hole and started seeing people doing uh, extensions, uh, you know, hard mounting their um, battery tenders. So I couldn't find all the parts locally and, and weird enough, this part was like impossible to find. Parts stores don't sell these things anymore and I don't know why. Um, they used to have these things on the shelves like crazy. So um, I have a batter, battery tender junior. Um, I ran this on multiple other cars before to hardwire it. Uh, basically you have your ring connectors and fused um, harness to go directly on your battery. Um, and with this being a Grand Sport, obviously the battery is in the rear. So what I've been doing is pulling up the pulling up this, hooking up uh, alligator connectors on there, and again running it up through. So what we're going to be doing, uh, some other guys actually ran. They would put some kind of like quick disconnect underneath here, uh, like a bulkhead fitting. I'm impatient, can't find the bulkhead fittings locally, so um, I just found an SAE to SAE. Um, extension this is a one foot extension. I think this is like 18 inches. That might be enough to run, um, but if not, I'm just going to cut it in the middle, splice in some extra wiring, and extend that. And I'm going to try that for a little bit just because the bulkhead fittings look okay. Um, you can notice, you know, the rubber connecting connector for the bulkhead sitting underneath the bumper a little bit if you look hard enough. Um, and I don't like that. I'd rather just tuck it up underneath the license plate somewhere or uh, up up on top of the license plate light somewhere. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna see how I like it. If I don't like it, it's gonna cost me another eight bucks to get the actual harness with the um, bulkhead adapter. So essentially all I'm gonna do is hardwire that harness onto the battery. I'm gonna flip this panel forward a little bit and run the, yeah, actually that should work out perfect. I'm gonna run the extension out through. There's a grommet over here. Uh, for the factory taillight harness. I'm gonna run it out the grommet, take out this taillight and route it down, and I'm just gonna leave a pigtail. There should be an opening right here, and I'm just gonna leave that pigtail out right there and just plug it in so I can keep my windows and my trunk shut. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is probably 10 millimeter. And go ahead and drop that extension on there. All right, now we got this nice Milwaukee light hooked up. I always forget that I have this thing. Um, this thing was quite expensive, but man, this thing is great when I remember I have it. So there's just going to be a connector over here. We're going to pop off this connector and pull back this carpet a little bit and just kind of route the harness up underneath. And just like that, so, um, Chevy gave you those nice posts to be able to mount uh, cables onto, knowing everybody with the Corvette is going to use a battery tender. So they made that nice and easy, two 10 millimeter nuts. And basically we're just going to be tucking this harness back up underneath here all right next thing we are going to do is pop out the passenger side tail light which is a I thought it was a t25 but i think it's a t15 all right and hopefully you can see from my headlight uh there's a grommet right here that's your tail light harness grommet i'm gonna make a little slit in there i'm gonna run that connector back through and then run it back here um to the um license plate light area all right made a little slit in there um i'm gonna go ahead and push this harness actually i'm not going to push this harness through i'm going to tape up uh, i'm going to stick a um clothes hanger through there tape up the other side of the harness and pull it out through um, that way i have a nicer connection and these adapters are easy to get to uh behind the tail light easy to get to right 
You can see my hanger through that hole there. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see underneath there, but pull the hanger out the other side. We're just gonna electrical tape that harness up and then pull it through. All right, so that kicked my ass a little bit getting this through the grommet, but it is through the grommet, grommet's back in place. This should probably give me just enough space to get this extension harness in now. All right, so you're gonna see up underneath there. Now I can just tuck this up out of the way if I want and pull it down as I need. Um, the other ones kind of had a grommet hanging down there, um, which I didn't like too much. So yeah, I could just kind of pull this up and down as needed and uh, plug my harness in. All right, so you can see harness is plugged in and just gotta remember when I go to leave that it is plugged in. So the one thing I will say about this setup is it is easy to get lost back up in here once you tuck it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet, but I have all winter to think about it. But you'll see the harness is tucked in there good. Back behind this carpet piece and tucked away and you never know it's there. Now I can shut my windows, shut my hatch uh, while it is hibernating over the winter. So you guys can laugh at me all you want, but this thing is the best Christmas present my family could have got for me. This thing uh, is worth its weight in gold. Let me see if I can get the button. This thing is great. Yeah, pretty ridiculous, right? Um, it has motion sensors and stuff too. I don't know how it works, but um, that did just allow me to see in the grommet area and see in the tail light area very well. As you're gonna see, this light lights up the hatch, but I couldn't light up in there. So again, this thing uh, is worth its weight in gold. So we'll go ahead and get uh, the light out of here. We'll get everything buttoned up. We'll get the windows shut and uh, you see over there, battery tender is charging. I may move that over here just so I don't forget and uh, forget to unplug it when I go to leave. Um, I do see that happening for some reason. So let me find a better way to mount that uh, so I don't forget about it and cause a boo-boo. All right, now the yellow dragon can sleep in peace. Windows up, all bundled up, batteries charging. And she can have a, a blissful nap for the next couple months. So what you guys don't know is I had another video planned. Um, found a really good deal on some long tubes um, and an X-pipe. Drove all the way out to like New York City because the deal was that good. I get there and the cats were punched out. The dude was a flake. And yeah, so I ended up bouncing on the deal. Drove all the way home, wasted five hours of driving for nothing so that kind of sucked so um between that and trying to get forged wheels i've almost bought about four sets of forged wheels that doesn't seem to be happening either so um i know some of you guys want to see mods of this thing i'm trying but i think this is the corvette gods telling me it is not meant to be leave this thing stock and enjoy it so um, we will see how long that lasts. I don't know. There's many months of winter, anything can happen. But as of right now, I'm kind of taking that as a sign um, to not mess with this thing. Um, you're gonna see a box here for a Tesla style head unit. I just put in the Q50. Some of you guys might've seen a video on that. Um, that actually came with an extra um, backup camera. So I'm actually gonna throw the camera in this thing and I'm probably gonna mount it back at the license plate. It's a little boxy camera. I'm gonna mount that out back, um, get that done uh, over the winter sometime. So I'll probably document that. Uh, I got some jacking pucks for Christmas. Um, these are uh, dash letters to replace those yellow dash letters that I had. Uh, I got those for Christmas as well. So I'll be doing those once it gets warm out to try and give those things uh, some kind of a fighting chance and actually uh, adhering to the dash once it gets warm. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it went a little bit longer than it should have. Um, it was only about three minutes if I wasn't screwing around with that, um, uh, that grommet that goes through the back firewall, back trunk wall, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the project cost me like 21 bucks to get done. The harness from Deltran was 15 bucks. The other harness I got from Tractor Supply was 12 inches. That was six bucks. So again, 21, 22 bucks all in. 
bing, bang, boom, done. You have a nicer way to mount your um, battery tender for over the winter. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it useful. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, again, hopefully you'll be seeing some content on this thing over the winter. We'll see. I don't know what's going to go on yet, but uh, you guys will know. If you follow me on Instagram, I usually post up on Instagram first and then follow with a video later. So if you always want to know what I'm doing in the car, follow me on Instagram. Uh, same username, PM Performance. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a great new year. We'll catch you next year.